Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about hair product and as you know from my channel a lot of what I like to do is trying out lots of all different hair products, different styles and really just exploring what's better, what works better for me and really just sort of building up an armory of products which you can sort of keep coming back to for great hair and great looking styles. I change my hairstyle very, very often and I certainly change the products I use. Very often I'm looking at things for volume and for fullness and for growing thicker hair. Other times we're looking to calm sort of frizzy hair down or for a sensitive scalp. The product choice today I have been using for just over two weeks now and it's by the product range of Palmer's. Now I have used this product before and I'll just show you the shampoo just to start the range off. I have used this product range before and I stopped using it because I found it quite difficult to get hold of. I was originally buying it online, um, but now in my local supermarket, they've actually started selling this range. And it's a really, really nice, very natural, very soothing sort of product range. So it's certainly something after you've probably had like a sun holiday or you've had lots of drying sort of aspects done to your hair, sort of with a hair dryer, straightener, that type of thing. Or if you're even just using different sprays and waxes, that all takes its toll on your hair and very often we need a shampoo and a conditioner and other products as well such as leave-in conditioners and sort of more deeper conditioning treatments just to look after your hair and particularly your scalp as well so that's why I've chose this range and as I say I've been using it for around about two weeks now so let's move on and jump straight in so this actual product is from the Palmer's olive oil formula range now just telling you a little bit about it so this one so olive oil smoothing shampoo for frizz prone hair now I don't believe you you this should just be aimed at frizz prone hair for me it's really really soothing on the scalp and it really does look after and really pump a lot of moisture into the hair so i'll just tell you about it a little bit more so it's moisture rich formula for strong shiny hair and it's also got jamaican black castor oil 100 percent pure olive oil also so really really great product so just very quickly on Jamaican black castor oil, I've actually used that product before and Jamaican black castor oil can also be used for thicker hair growth as well on the scalp. Um, but in this instance, it's for, of course, condition and moisture. The Jamaican black castor oil, I know a lot of people have used that and I've read online before. It's really good for encouraging uh, thicker and stronger hair. So and it really gives moisture to the hair. So certainly a product if it's got that in it would be really really amazing to use so it's got here no sulfates no parabens no phyllophilates no mineral oil and no gluten just telling you a little bit more about it so extra virgin oil is a powerful natural ingredient used since ancient times to give hair strength and brilliant shine this moisturizing shampoo smooths out frizzy hair replenishes replenishes moisture and nutrients removes product buildup so for me that's really really good i use a lot of products in my hair um so anything which boasts uh removal of product buildup really great and it's certainly something i would try the balanced blend of extra virgin olive oil keratin amino acids and vitamin e cleanses thoroughly and leaves hair softer with a smoother texture easier to style and healthier and stronger now a little bit more into the Jamaican black castor oil. So Jamaican black castor oil has a strong lipid content which helps relieve dry itchy scalp while protecting hair from styling damage. Directions apply to wet hair, work into a creamy lather, rinse thoroughly. The best results follow with Palmer's olive oil formula conditioner. So for me, I would say really top rated product. When I use this, if I wash my hair, and I always do in the morning, and then because I wear product throughout the day, of the evening I wash my hair a second time as well, really, really lovely product. Because it's got no sulfates in it, I find that it's better to uh, dampen your hair down first of all, and then use a small amount, I'd say about half a gold full size amount of the shampoo, and just lather that through your hair, really concentrating on the scalp, making sure that you get that, that scalp a real good, nice, clean, to get rid of the build up of products which you may have in your hair. Of course in the morning you won't necessarily have that, but certainly towards the end of the day straight away you find with the shampoo it's got a really lovely fresh scent and it's almost got a, it reminds me sort of being outdoors you can smell plants and you get those notes of olive oil in there as well and you can tell there's a lot of good things in there which looks after your hair straight away you can tell that it coats the hair but not artificially I don't want to put that out there that it's an artificial feeling it's very natural and it's very smooth it kind of almost takes care of your scalp and looks after your hair straight away and you almost get that nice sort of moisture and you can feel as though you've got some sort of oil but without the oiliness feeling so you've got that nice moisture straight away in your hair which is really really nice moving on after the shampoo then you would move in with the olive oil 
replenishing conditioner for frizz prone hair so again it has got the same lovely ingredients in there and it's no sulfates no parabens no phyllophilates and no mineral oil and no gluten moisture rich formula for strong shiny hair and again it's got the jamaican black castor oil in here so then let's go into it a little bit uh, a little bit more into detail so extra virgin olive oil is a powerful natural ingredient used since ancient times to give hair strength and brilliant shine this rich conditioner smooths out frizzy hair increases moisture levels and if you've got wavy or, or curly hair it says here it softens tight curls now i'll go into that a little bit more in just a moment extra virgin oil is combined with soya bean oil and keratin amino acids to protect the hair from environmental aggressors and hot styling tools so that hair is shinier with extra bounce softer and less frizzy easier to style and then it tells you the same information about the jamaican black castor oil so for this once you've used the shampoo the conditioner is really really nice because what it does is it calms the hair down now my hair is quite fine but i've got a lot of it and i've got like a bit of a wave to it which i don't necessarily like sometimes of course you can embrace that and you can do some nice styles with that but when you don't want that this conditioner is really really nice and kind of almost ever so slightly sort of flattening the hair out and I don't mean that in a bad way it sort of makes the hair much more natural and free-flowing rather than that sort of awkward shape which sometimes if your natural hair has it you can kind of get that and sometimes I have that I have a bit of a cowlick in the front of my hair and I do find with these products it almost sort of calms everything down so it makes styling that bit more easier not after the first couple of washes I would say in conditioners um, but I would probably say I noticed that up until about the week maybe the 10 day mark and it really does make my scalp feel really nice and really really lovely uh, and comfortable not that tightness which you can get after using some styling products and you shampooed in the morning and in the evening so a really really lovely product really natural again really nice pleasant smell like being outdoors you can really get those notes of olive oil in there and a really nice sort of sensual smell like a feel-good sort of smell especially really really nice if you feel a bit stressed once you've washed your hair in the evening really really nice fragrance moving on from that and i wouldn't normally do that but sometimes if that is not enough there are a few other options in this range which are really really nice very often if you've straightened your hair or if you've used a uh, blow dryer or if you have used products for example texturizing powders dry shampoos and it can really dry your scalp out make your, your scalp feel quite uncomfortable Shampoo and conditioner can sometimes take out a balance on your scalp. Now, what I really, really like in this range is they have a really nice product, which is a leave-in conditioner from the same range. And it's olive oil leave-in conditioner. And it's for frizz prone hair, detangler, heat protectant and moisturizer. So again, this has got no sulfates, no parabens, no phyllophilates, no mineral oil and no gluten. Again, with the Jamaican black castor oil. So in here, Palmer's olive oil formula strengthen leaving conditioner nourishes and repairs dry frizzy hair enriched with an intensive blend of extra virgin olive oil vitamin e keratin and silk proteins this lightweight spray helps control frizz and as shine reduces split ends detangles and acts as a heat protectant from styling damage can be used daily on wet or dry hair to detangle and moisturize leaving hair more manageable directions spray product throughout towel dried or damped hair comb through to ends and coat hair with sorry comb comb through to ends to coat hair with conditioning proteins do not rinse style is desired and it's just saying here on the back there as well can be used throughout the day as needed for optimum results you with use with palmer's olive oil formula daily maintenance and styling products so this is really sorry can be used can be used throughout the day as needed for optimum results used with palmer's olive oil formula daily maintenance okay so i believe that means by using all of these products in conjunction together you've got that daily maintenance program which looks after your scalp and hair so this here what i really, really like if your scalp feels a little bit out of balance and when i say that is it slightly itchy is it slightly tight at the end of the day when you've shampooed and conditioned your hair this spray is really really lovely what i tend to do is literally open my hair up so you've got the parting after i've washed and shampooed uh, shampooed and conditioned my hair spray some of this and i it's almost like i use it as a moisturizer not just for my hair of course it's nice to have a small amount for your hair and then on your scalp because occasionally my scalp does get thrown out of balance i use a lot of uh, hair products and occasionally sort of with the alcohol content if it's sort of like a texture powder to lift my hair or a hairspray particularly at the bottom of my neck through wearing hearing aids with a cable which you can see from my cross hearing aids here that spray is lovely a quick few, uh, quick few spritzes across the back of my neck in areas of my hair and just through my hair really really nice really conditioning really soothing and it's lovely 
The only thing I would say with this, if you spray too much, you nerve out it because the hair does tend to go slightly oily. You can salvage it because you can style your hair like I do straight away. But if you use too much, it can get ever so slightly sticky. It's lovely in conditioning, but use too much and you will know about it. A lovely product, though, all the same. My last one in this range, which for me, I would never, ever think of using this. I have used sort of deeper treatments before, but when you, it's sort of like a single use sort of um, pouch, which you would just buy as a deep treatment, I thought, no, that's for women's hair. Wouldn't use it at all. And I actually bought this because of, with the cross system, which I occasionally wear because I'm now getting used to my new hearing aids, um, which I've been waiting for such a long time because I had to have a replacement hearing aids um, where I, there was a problem with them keep switching themselves off. Now, that's been resolved, but always when I've had to wear this for several months again and I've got my new hearing aids, I can't just jump straight back into them. I have to wear my old ones, which I'm comfortable with, then I go back to the new ones. But this wire... Even though it's a fantastic system for my hearing, it agitates the, the bottom of my neck with the sort of the fine hairs here. So I was looking around in, uh, in my local supermarket and they have a, a huge range of all different hair products. And I wanted something, first of all, I was looking at moisturisers and things. And I thought to myself, well, I wonder if there's anything in regards to hair. This, because which we've just mentioned about sometimes your scalp can get out of balance. I came across this in the same range, and this is actually why I started using this. Um, so this here is, first of all, it looks really, really strange. It's just in a pouch here. Um, so it's Palmer's olive oil formula. So same ingredients. And this is a deep conditioner for frizz prone hair. And this here is moisture for rich formula for strong, shiny hair. No sulfates, no parabens, no filophilates, no mineral oil, no gluten. And again, with Jamaican black cast oil. Now this here, so... Give hair a deep repairing treatment with the power of antioxidant rich extra virgin olive oil. This super cream intensive conditioner is loaded with extra virgin olive oil and fortified with our exclusive botanical scalp complex blend. Two, provide essential vitamins and minerals to dry damaged hair, penetrate deep to restore moisture and shine, strengthen weak, brittle hair, helping it to grow longer for minimizing breakage, leave hair silky and healthy. Jamaican black castor oil has a strong lipid content which helps relieve really dry, itchy scalp whilst protecting hair from styling damage. And that line there is what made me choose this product for the back of my hair. Now this, you can leave this on overnight and it does say here, if using as an overnight treatment, comb hair through and use a plastic cap or, or a protective co co uh, covering and rinse that in the morning. I haven't done that. I don't need to do that. I think that would more or less be for treatments if you've got sort of your woman and you've got longer hair. Of course, men can have that as well, but I don't imagine sort of many many sort of men would be happy to do that. I certainly wouldn't either. Um, just sort of whilst I'm in the bathroom, I've been there for sort of 20, 30 minutes, this on the bottom of my neck and throughout my hair, brilliant, then just shower it off straight away. Um, and that's what I used it for. And it absolutely made my hair feel absolutely incredible. But the best thing of all, it soothed the back of my neck and my scalp which can sometimes get out of balance for us all. You don't have to have problems. It can just sometimes be one of those things. And it is absolutely brilliant. And it really, really, really changed things for my scalp. Then after I liked this product, I then tried the shampoo, then tried the conditioner, and then got on to the actual uh, spray. All lovely products and work amazing together. How often do I use this? Not very often at all. Because this can flare up at the bottom of my neck and I kind of get almost like two eczema patches, this really, really helps because it's got no nasty products or anything in there. So it's really, really nice. And I usually keep about two, maybe three of these in, an, in, in my home. And if it flares up really badly through my hearing aids or through different sprays and things, I, I think I have a bit of an issue here of two patches. They come and go all the time. It depends how I'm feeling as well. Um, this really, really sorts out. And bonus... It looks after my hair as well. So absolutely brilliant. Really, really lovely product. Let's just go through for price. So this is £2. Really good value for money. The shampoo, £4. The conditioner, £4. And the spray, a little bit more expensive, £5. Really, really good value for money and great products. And I would certainly keep using them. On the whole, how are they for styling? Love the shampoo. Really, really preps your scalp. Lovely for creating those nice voluptuous styles if you want that bit more volume in your hair. A bit like what I've got today. The conditioner, really, really nice. Would I use that spray conditioner if I was going out in the day? You could. I wouldn't because I find it takes me a lot longer whilst I've got that in my hair to style my hair. But of course, it does pump condition into my scalp. So I leave that for an evening thing. And then if I've got those sort of sore areas at the back of my neck, I would then use one of the sachets. So the deep treatments there. Would I necessarily use it for my hair? Probably not because I haven't got that long length of hair. These products, of course, can be used by men or women. More or less, I'd say that they would suit everybody. 
some more than others. They are quite heavy moisturizing products. So if you had very, very little hair, you might want to be careful. You'd probably just reduce what you were using. But on the whole, really, really nice and really, really soothing and certainly look after your scalp as well. So really, really amazing products and I can't shout about them enough. Really, really give them a try if you suffer with any of the problems we've gone through today. So lastly, let's finish up how I've had my hair today. So have I used Palmer's Olive Oil Formula Shampoo and Conditioner? Yes, I have. As you can probably tell, I've recently had a haircut. So just starting off here, you can probably see right down to the skin. It's about a 0, 0.5. Then we slowly come back up towards a 1. And then we've got a real defined line, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. And a defined line here. This has not been cut. So this here is probably, I'd say, about half an inch, maybe a little bit longer, probably a little, possibly, sorry, a little bit shorter. And what I've done is I've just used a little bit of uh, like cream wax or putty or anything like that you have similar and I've just used a little bit and I've just brought that into the side so I want that to grow slightly a little bit longer so you've got that bit more of a defined outgrown look but yet still nice and sleek with that style underneath as an undercut. Now I've also got an arrowed back so like I usually have it if you've watched my clips so nice sort of shape towards the back here really really nice going towards the nape of my neck and that's just sort of arrowed down so again I've got naught point, uh, about a naught, naught point five up to about a one but I've kept it quite low this time as a bit of a change so as you can see it is quite low then on the top now my hair is probably about three quarters of the way down past my nose I haven't had that cut for quite a while how have I styled my hair so I've used the shampoo I then I didn't keep it in very long at all so about two three minutes then after that I've gone in and you don't need to keep that in but I do that just so it looks after my scalp because as I said at the moment possibly sometimes over the last couple of days my scalp's been a little bit out of balance and that happens to us all after that, I've rinsed it out after about two or three minutes. Then I've gone in with the conditioner again for another two or three minutes and I've washed that out. I haven't used any of the other products because I don't need to. Again, that's my sort of evening thing if I like that at the moment. And of course, I change all the time the hair products. I change all the time of different things. If I'm buying new products, I give them a try. So sometimes I come back to them, but I've got them in sort of my armory of products, which is great. How then have I gone in with my hair? So I've took a blow dryer and I've got my small radial dame brush lifting up towards the top of my uh, the top of my forehead and then guiding that back towards uh, the back of my head there over my scalp, directing it over. So lifting, getting that nice lift and then straight back over and the sides, lifting that up, directing it across my head and then again on this side on the opposite direction. So then straight back through as that's dried. But of course, trying not to get too much volume in the back of my crown because I want that to be nice and flat and I want the volume to sort of reduce backwards as you can see. As you can see from here, it comes down and that's how I like my hair. So I really, really love those sort of modern take on pompadours, which I really, really love that style. Going forward, what did I use then? So my hair's dry. So I've then gone in because I want that bit more of a lift. I have then gone in with a little bit of Schwarzkopf got to be texturizing powder. Now, I haven't put this directly on my scalp. What I do is after I literally brush my hair off to the side because I'm having issues with my scalp every now and again at the moment and I've just dusted a small amount of this on but having said that it doesn't affect my scalp so this here and I just literally tap this on the hair so not on the scalp but then I tap it on my hair and then throughout and then literally I rub it through and it gives me a little bit more of resistance and then following from that I have gone in with Schwarzkopf got to be texturizing clay about a half a golf ball size amount rubbed that through my hands and then through my hair and I've lifted that up and then once I'm happy with the style because I don't have to do too much because I've dried my hair in the direction of how I want my style to fit and then I've dried that backwards and then literally I've grabbed my fingers through my hair and then I'm grabbing my favorite spray from Schwarzkopf got to be glued blasting free spray then off to one side quick spray off to one side again, quick spray, and then over. And then I'm guiding that in with just a simple comb, small pieces just to neaten everything up at the sides here, and then quick spray again, tidying the sides up, and then making sure I've got that nice lift on the top to increase the volume there. And then in the back, just grabbing a mirror, making sure everything narrows down to a point at the back. Really, really love this style. With the help of the Palmer's olive oil formula, my scalp feels comfortable all day and my hair feels really nice and conditioned when I wash all these products out as well. The only reason I haven't put the powder towards my roots, which I'd normally do, is because the nape of my neck at the moment is a little bit sore and there's parts of my scalp which is a little bit sort of, not tender, but slightly dry. Could possibly be the products I use. But at the moment with the Palmer's olive oil, it's really, really helping with that. And of course, I've used it for a little while. It could possibly be me at the moment on new different medications for different things in my health going on in the background as well. But 
to conclude all of this, the olive oil formula has certainly improved things and it's a really lovely sort of moisture rich sort of product range to use. So certainly absolutely give that a try. So I hope you've really, really enjoyed my clip today. I have certainly enjoyed making it. So until next time, we will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.